Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to give a brief introduction about Python. So, what is meant by a Python? A Python is a general purpose high level programming language. Okay. So, what is meant by a general purpose? It means Python is not confined to particular application. We can develop so many applications by using Python. Okay, that is a that is called as a general purpose. Next, coming to high level programming language. So, the pro programming language which is user friendly. Okay, user friendly languages are called as high level programming language. So, what is meant by user friendly? It means simple to use and simple to understand. Okay. So, in high level programming languages as an user we no need to worry about low level activities like memory management, data security, object creation destruction all these will be taken care by the language itself. Okay. So, a python is defined as it is a general purpose high level programming language. Okay. So, next who introduced this language? So, Guido Van Rossum. Guido Van Rossum, he is called as a father of Python. He introduced this language in the year 1989 while he was working in NRI, National Research Institute in Netherlands. He developed this language. Okay. So, even though he developed this language in 1989, this language came to the outside environment in the year 1991. Okay. So, consider Java language. If you consider Java language, Java is uh, created that means it is introduced in the year 1995 and it came to the outside environment in the year 1996. That means before Java itself we have Python language. Before Java itself we have Python language in the market. But uh, why Python language is not that much popular in those days? Okay. Why Python language is not that much popular in those days? If you consider market trends, they will change from time to time. So, the present market requirements, they are looking for simple language and easy to understand and next one is concise code concise code means less lines of code less code and next one is a productive language next one is a code readability next one is a simple programming syntax simple programming syntax okay so as Python contains all these advantages, it became more popular nowadays. Okay? So, Python is a simple and easy to understandable programming language. Even the beginners also they can easily learn and understand the Python language. Okay? No need to have prerequisite knowledge. Even the beginners also they can easily uh, understand the programming language. That is why I told Python is a user friendly language. Okay? Next, concise code. So, to solve any application, no need to write more lines of code in Python. Just with the less lines of code, we can uh, happily solve the application. So, this concise code is possible uh, in Python because of its uh, powerful library support. Okay, because of uh, as Python has a powerful library support, concise code is possible in Python. Okay, next one is uh, compared to other languages like C, C++ and Java. C, C++ and Java, our uh, this Python language is more productive. Python is more productive language compared to other languages like C, C++ and Java. Got it? Next one is uh, code readability. So, what is meant by code readability? Readability means it is uh, nothing but uh, the programmers generally they will they will spend a lot of time to read the code and to understand the code. 
ok. If this readability nature is there for any programming language, uh, the programmers uh, can easily understand that code and they can easily debug the code that means they can easily fix the errors in the code ok. So, because of this uh, code readability nature debugging process is easy ok and next one is the uh, maintenance of code is easy and also they can extend they can extend the code. So, that nature is one of the most advantage uh, uh, advantage feature in Python language ok and next one is a simple programming syntax just uh, in, just like a normal English commands the programming syntax will be there in our Python language. So, as a Python contains all these features and also all these advantages and also consider trending technologies. So, if you know uh, what are the trending technologies in the present market uh, artificial intelligence, neural networks ok, machine learning, deep learning, data analysis, data science. So, these are all trending technologies in the present market. So, in all these trending technologies, we can use our Python language, ok. We can use this Python language in all these trending technologies. Why Python language works in all these trending technologies because of its powerful library support. Okay. So, Python contains powerful library support for all these technologies so that is why we can happily use Python in this in all these technologies ok and also in IOT internet of things also we can use Python ok. So, as Python has all these advantages Python became more popular nowadays got it. Next uh, while developing a Python language. Guido Van Rossum, who Guido Van Rossum. So, he, he is the father of Python language. So, he borrowed while developing Python language uh, Guido Van Rossum, he borrowed the features of uh, procedure oriented programming language features. Procedure oriented programming language means the programming language which depends upon procedures. Procedures are nothing but functions procedures are nothing but functions. So, what is the best example for procedure oriented programming language C? The C language is the best example for procedure oriented programming language language ok. And next coming to object oriented programming, object oriented programming means the programming language which depends upon objects. So, the best examples for, for uh, object oriented programming is C++ and Java ok. And next scripting language. Scripting language means sequence of uh, uh, sequence of commands ok. Sequence of commands is nothing but uh, scripts. So, what are the best examples for scripting language? Perl, shell script, javascript, so, these are all the best examples for scripting languages. So, scripting means sequence of commands which are written as a plain text and that will be executed by the interpreter ok. Sequence of commands uh, written as a plain text and it, was, it will and it will be run by the interpreter that is called as a scripting language. So, best examples are Perl, Shell script and JavaScript and next one is a modular language. Modular language is nothing is nothing but what is meant by modular language? Uh, the code is splitted into parts. Okay, e, the code is splitted into parts. So each and every part, each and every part is called as a module. Each and every part is called as a module. Okay. So while developing Python language, Guido Van Rossum he borrowed procedure oriented programming language features object oriented programming language features, scripting language features as well as modular language features ok. So, Python is a combination of all these languages that is why we can also call Python as all rounder programmer, all rounder programming language, all rounder programming language ok. Why Python is called as all rounder programming language? Because while developing Python language, Guido Van Rossum he borrowed the features of procedure oriented programming language that is function, functions 
and next one is objects and next one is a scripting language features as well as modular language features. That is why Python is called as a all rounder programming language. Okay? So, as Python contains all these language features, so depending upon the requirement of the project, requirement of the application, we can use the Python as procedure oriented, okay, as object oriented, as scripting, as modular, got it. But um, most of the syntax in Python is taken from C and ABC programming languages. Most of the syntax in Python is taken from C and ABC programming languages.